Hello, my name is George. And I run Howler. I live in Tampa, Florida, and I work from home with two very cute office mates. This is Ollie. Hello, Ollie. And this is Echo. Howler began as a Kickstarter campaign in 2012. I wanted to create something that would portray American soccer within the context of the world game to show that our soccer culture is unique, but that it's part of something much bigger. I've always loved the game. I get it from my dad, who grew up outside of London, but came here in the early 1970s to go to college in the States. And then he started playing for the Tampa Bay Rowdies of the old North American Soccer League. So I definitely grew up with a strong sense of the history and the weirdness of American soccer. For instance, only in America could my dad find himself playing against Pelé at Yankee Stadium. So soccer, in some form or another, was my life for as long as I can remember. In middle school, I used to help out the kit man of the Tampa Bay Mutiny, and one day, Carlos Valderrama gave me his boots. It's one of my prized possessions. This shirt is from some alternate reality in which Italy won the 1994 World Cup. I went to that final, by the way, not knowing that I needed glasses, so I don't remember seeing Baggio miss his penalty, just hearing it. And then I worked for a few magazines and a book publisher, and one of my buddies quit his job as a reporter to launch this magazine about video games called Kill Screen. And I thought, hey, maybe we can do that for soccer. So we made Howler, and the idea was to celebrate American soccer culture and explore the global game as a business, as a form of mass entertainment, as one of the few things that truly connects most humans and, if you ask the right questions, might reveal something about the weirdness and wonder of being alive in the 21st century. Yeah, all of that through soccer. We've published investigative journalism about the rich and the powerful. We go deep on topics that matter, like this 12,000 word profile of Florentino Perez. We give space to stories that seem to go unnoticed, like this feature on Swansea City's mad mascot, Cyril the Swan. My fascination with Soccer Americana even led us to publish our first penis. We did lose a subscriber over that. But once we'd done that one, slipping another penis into the latest issue felt like a fun way to subvert, uh, you know, the, the things people have come to expect from sports journalism. Howler has grown to include a daily website. We've done video work like this report on Jack Warner from Trinidad for Copa 90. It's, it's named after a super corrupt guy, Joao Havalanche, built by a super corrupt guy, uh, Jack Warner. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta love it. And, and what I find most amazing about this, wow, uh, look, there's a dead bird. Look at this. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit dilapidated. In this series, exploring the corruption and violence in Greek soccer. We've made animations for other brands, like these ones for Gatorade, and fun little book projects for clubs and special events. After the mag, my favorite thing is our podcast. We have six of them. Here, I'll play you a little sample from Howler Radio's miniseries on the European Championship. Gascoigne was swinging his laces through it, sending his volley into the near bottom corner of Scotland's goal. Take a bow for that! Gascoigne barely broke stride. He continued across the touchline and lay down on his back, legs and arms outstretched, holding his head up off the turf, mouth agape. Gascoigne was back, back in the dentist chair. One quick-witted teammate, Teddy Sheringham, grabbed a water bottle from behind the goal and sent a stream of liquid into Gascoigne's face before the rest of the England players mobbed him. The audacity to take on the flick and the deafness with which he lifted the ball over Hendry's head before volleying it home were quintessential Gascoigne. As was the cheeky celebration, which earned him an apology from the Daily Mirror for ever having doubted him. So that's Howler. I gotta tell you, it's been fun, but turning indie soccer journalism into a viable business has not been easy. And I've learned never to leave a captive audience without making a pitch. So here it is. Here's a code for 20% off a subscription. We'll send you a free FIFA Nader patch. And thank you for watching. <laughs>